It was so great. You know, I've been listening to Pete talk about it for a while. This was even better than I think the expectations you laid out, Pete. Yeah, a lot of people really, uh, really overwhelmed by this one. You know, totality, if you stay in the same spot and don't travel the world looking for it, it comes to you once every 300 to 400 years. In Dallas, Texas, they hadn't seen it in over 800 years come to that city. So, yeah, it's rare to come to you. But, of course, if you travel... And you want to go around the world looking for them every 18 months, mostly out over the ocean. The fish get to get a good display every now and then. Back to normal next two days. This is a shot from Eustace, Maine, by the way, from Steve Shannon. Uh, quick showers by midweek, milder pattern overall. And so it goes in Boston, 64 degrees. The winds are out of the land direction, not the ocean. Now, tomorrow we'll switch that and bring them in off the ocean. The clouds are with us now, and they're here to stay for tonight. But tomorrow we thin them out. There's just some weather disturbance going by. With the sea breeze in town, we're in the mid-50s. I like the looks of tomorrow overall. You know, it's a little bit cooler along the coastline, Cape Cod in the lower and mid-50s, too. But mid-60s just to the west of Natick and maybe through the Merrimack Valley. I think we'll overachieve in many spots here and back through Worcester as well, about 64 degrees. Now, Wednesday, everybody's drab and gray and back over the 50s, so we return to normal in that series. The Sox are back in town, too. The fun just keeps going here. A Tuesday at 10 o'clock, it's, I'm sorry, 2 o'clock, it's about 52 40s, though, on Wednesday evening, that's the chill that moves in, maybe a sprinkle or some mist. And then Thursday, about... 57 degrees. The temps come back, but the showers are coming back into the picture, too. Now, some of these arrive on Wednesday just as a few sprinkles, but I think most of the day is dry here. And then Thursday into the uh, afternoon, we have a band of wet weather coming through. What this is part of is a bigger weather system that comes in Thursday into Friday. Friday especially looks wet. This is a sizable storm, and it has a few downpours. These are lines of equal pressure. When we put these together in close proximity, we get a lot of wind. So this is going to really kick up the wind here. And this is Friday uh, pre-dawn that we're seeing these downpours move through. Friday afternoon, it looks like we may dry out a little bit in the wake of that front. But we are looking at wind coming out of the south now. And those gusts could be up to 30 miles an hour in Cape Cod, 40 plus on Friday around noontime, maybe even 50 through the vineyard, Nantucket too, and up through Cape Ann. And then Friday afternoon, Friday evening, those winds shift a little bit and they ease. They back off just a hair. Now we have some cool air coming in for Saturday, but not a lot. You'll see about 56 degrees. And then for Sunday, about 61. Already early indications are for Marathon Monday to be on the mild side for the runners. It does look like a tailwind, so that might help. But sun is a big factor, obviously. If we have full sun, 62 is going to feel like 82. Um, but right now, it seems like a few clouds will be around. And then it looks like temperatures after that kind of mellow out a little bit after a mild Tuesday forecast, too. So overall, mild pattern, especially with this storm system at the end of the week with mild air and a lot of wind, too.